Okay, YouTube. So here we have a problem. I just finished this cassette deck. And it sounds great, plays great. I can't play any for you because YouTube will strike my video down. And that's a real pain in the ass. But the problem we have now is this counter isn't turning. It's having trouble focusing on it. So. So I'm guessing that that belt in there is worn out. It's tired. I guess it's had enough. I got this belt from another Techniques cassette deck. This is the RSTR265. I got this out of a RSTR165. And it's about 6.7 inches. Something like that. But I got a better one. Out of a Pioneer. Cassette deck. Well actually it was ordered for a Pioneer cassette deck. So this is about a 6.5. Or a 6.7. Something like that. So. Yeah, it's a 6.7. So. Yeah, I need to use that counter. I record a lot of tapes. So. To do this, the top has to come off. Two screws over here, two screws over here. So, time to get to work. Let me get this top off, get this unit turned around. I'll be right back. Okay, so, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that belt is just flopping around inside there. It is totally stretched out. Okay. It's totally loose. That ain't spinning nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, to get that out of there, this board has three screws in it. It has a screw here, screw here, and a screw down the bottom in the middle. And this will open. It'll lean toward you. It's not going to lean very far, but it'll let you get that belt out of there. Okay? So, there's no other way to get that belt out of there. You have to lean this board forward. Okay? <sighs> This mechanism is going to have to come out. It has four screws. One in each corner. These black screws. Okay. So, once you get these four black screws out, just press the eject mechanism. Some of these cassette decks have a little bracket down here. Okay. You can see it right there. And you have to bend it down with a screwdriver. This bracket right here. Just push down a little bit. Okay. And that will give you enough room. To take this bracket off if you have to change the belts. Or to get the mechanism out. If you do not bend that little bracket down. Like over on this side over here. If you do not bend that down out of your way, then you have to take the whole face off 
and take a whole bunch of more stuff apart that you really don't have to. So just bend that little bracket down. Try not to slip off and fuck up the board, okay? I'm just saying. So I got to get these four screws out. Take these three screws out. And I'll be right back. Okay. These three screws have been taken out. These four screws have been taken out. Okay, so there's this little bracket right here. Just, you can just knock that off of there. Oh, now it's going to be a jag off. Okay. There it is. Let's get that out of the way. <sighs> Press the eject mechanism. Now this mechanism is going to come out of here. The belt is still captured. Okay. So we can lean this forward. Okay. Just like that. All right. We're going to get the tweezers. Try to grab a hold of the belt. To get it off the wheel. Alright. So. <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> yeah. The belt's actually not bad. It just. It's too big. It's ridiculous. Huh. So, let's see what it looks like next to this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big difference. And just knocking shit all over the fucking place. So, now I got to get this bracket on. So, first thing I'm going to do is feed it through here and connect it onto the wheel, okay? And then I'll push this board back so it will be captured before I attempt to stretch it onto the spindle, okay? So, <clears throat> I know this is the part you all wait for, but I can't do it and hold the phone at the same time, so. I'll get that on that wheel, stick this back up in there, and I'll be back. Okay, so that is a pain in the ass, okay? <clears throat> but that belt is a lot tighter in there, okay? If you grab a hold of the belt, and tug on it, you can hear the spindle turn. Okay, so that has plenty of grip. <sighs> okay, so got to put this bracket here back down here in the left corner, and that goes on like this. Okay, this screw hole lines up with that screw hole down the bottom okay and then I have <clears throat> screws here 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 two up here one down the bottom in the middle okay so far so good let me get these seven screws in there and I'll be back. Okay. So, I didn't put all seven screws in. I only put one screw in the board. One here. Just to hold it up. Okay. And I only put one screw in the mechanism. I didn't want to stick them all in there. Just to find out something was wrong, okay? Because that'd be pretty stupid. So, okay. Mm. 
Uh, hit fast forward here. Camera's having a real hard time focusing on it. And it's spinning. So there you go. So yeah, that's a real pain in the ass, but 6.7 inch belt. Now, I guess it's probably considered a medium because it's thicker than this belt, this skinny belt here. So I guess it's a 6.7 medium. But it's working, so I can put the rest of those screws in there. Put the top back on it. And this project's completed. Alright. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Later.